Hello, everyone. Welcome back to OTD Military History, and Happy New Year to everybody for 2024. So today, hopefully to keep it shorter, is going to be talking about what I will, what I am planning to do with the channel, uh, some more swing for the fences ideas. We'll see how those go. Uh, so we'll chat about those. And also, just off the hop, I know I haven't talked about a lot of these, uh, but some of the, you are aware of what I have planned. Uh, so uh, also it helps to talk about at the beginning of the video. If you have things you'd like me to do, types of shows, shows on certain topics, and all of that stuff, please fire away, uh, either in the sidebar now, if you're watching live, or down below a comment. Um, any ideas, even if it sounds crazy, let's go for it. Beginning of the year, lots of optimism. Let's do it. Uh, so, yes, uh, Took, yes. So, a <laughs> funny story. Uh, I had another one, got it a while back, got one for me and my wife for the channel. I just thought it'd be cool, and it's, I like it because it, uh, it's comfortable. Uh, it's super comfortable. So, unfortunately, over the holidays, actually, literally at the beginning of the holidays, I had another one. Uh, it was kind of gray and black, but same logo. It's all the same logo. Uh, I lost it. It, it. it fell out of our car, or I don't know what happened. So, I went... Luckily, I didn't need it over the holidays. I was in the Kingston, London, Ontario area between those two places. Uh, pretty warm the whole time and still is pretty warm. However, it's a little chillier here in Ottawa. Things tend to be. Uh, so I wore this out today. Uh, uh, just got Muggins back from a walk. He was going a bit stir crazy. So I took him out. And now my hair is crazy from wearing this uh, several times today. So I thought I'd show it off as well along with my crazy story. Uh, so yeah, so I was happy to get this one in the mail. I thought I canceled this order. Apparently I didn't. But uh, yeah, so there are OTD uh, things going on. Uh, sorry, OTD uh, clothes and, and merch and stuff like that. And I can link that down after as well. So uh, uh, first things I will. Uh, yeah, I'll just talk about this stuff. And if there's questions, I'll see what I can get to. We'll see how we're doing for time. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is talk about what I have planned and, and projects already on the go. Uh, so these are things that are pretty much going to happen. Uh, some are in much more advanced stages than others. Uh, so the first one, a lot of people already know about this one, but uh, I'm looking at the first special service force at Anzio. Uh, I've picked one day. Turns out it's Valentine's Day. I didn't even make that connection until way later on the project. <laughs> picked February 14th for a number of reasons, and you'll see why in the video once it gets released. Hoping to have that done shortly, just have, have to do a few things first while getting back into work in the new year. So we'll be doing that, and it, it's a really interesting uh, piece because there's lots of primary sources I found in the Word diary, and I can connect them to a bunch of stuff and trying to do a little bit of different stuff with some tech and video editing and the like. So we can see if we can make that pretty interesting. Uh, some And another idea I've had for quite a while, and I literally started getting this plan into motion to this morning, is getting live streamed on Normandy. Uh, generally speaking, Canadian-focused, other stuff. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but uh, those will be January, some are soon, some will be in February, still trying to get some more organized. Uh, covering of various topics uh, connected to Normandy, talking about um, a can loan officers, that'll be really interesting. Uh, some landing, you know, with the 3rd British uh, Division in Normandy and fighting with them and, and other various units. So I want to give them some attention. Uh, so it'll be things like that from different people, different perspectives, not just me, because that'll be coming with the other project that you, a lot of you are already aware about, we'll talk about uh, at the end here or in a minute. Uh, so there's other ones that are not Normandy connected, just talking about different topics related to Canadian military history, military history in general. Uh, I've got one that saw Scott suggested we're in the planning stages for that one, talking about the Canadian, uh, I believe his uh, regiment uh, and the American Revolutionary War that fought for the Continental Army. So that's, uh, I'm in talks about that with the author of the book. And hopefully we can get something nailed down shortly uh, and some others. I still have to do all the prep and all that stuff for those to get the thumbnails together and everything out and about. So those will be interesting. Those I'm just planning for the few, for a few months. Uh, don't really have anything past that yet. Uh, but some of the ideas I have moving up will be connected to that. Uh, so uh, also uh, reviews of Masters of the Air. That's coming up at the end of January. I think they might be doing one episode at a time. I'm not sure. Maybe the first two will be released uh, back to back uh, on Apple TV. That seems to be the trend of series nowadays. So we'll see. Anyway, I will try to get those videos out as quickly as I can after the episode's premiere. Um, obviously, I'm not an expert on the 8th Air Force or, you know, all that stuff. But understand, uh, 
you know, the era over Europe and things of that nature and, and, and how history is recorded and presented and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and I've done some reactions um, to the trailers. So, and those did pretty well. So, and it's also something I said to talk about, obviously, public historian, loving to see history in the public and how it's talked about and kind of forming my own opinions and seeing what other people think from the comments and stuff like that. So it should be interesting. I had some interesting feedback already on the two reaction trailers. I can link those down below if you haven't seen them uh, for after. But uh, looking forward to that, something different, something to look forward to in January when uh, the weather is going to get worse here in Ottawa. It always does. It's not too bad today, but it, it's going to get worse. It always does. Uh, so I'm really excited for that. And yes, uh, Andreas, I have to renew the subscription for that as well. I haven't had it in a while, so i got to get that back on uh, before it comes out. So looking forward to doing that. Uh, I think there's nine episodes, so I'll probably do it episode by episode. We'll see how it works with timing and releases and all that fun stuff. So, um, so obviously, um, the big thing for this year for me, and I've been talking about this for a while now, is the Canada Normandy Project. I'm sure all of those watching live are aware of this. Uh, that's going to be the big thing this year for me. Obviously, I'm going there in April for uh, a week and a bit. So I'm going to be on locations, shooting stuff. Um, you know, I'm going to do all that stuff. Um, I'm going to be there and then I'm going to release videos as I can because it's going to take some time between filming and, and another thing I'll be talking about in a second. But filming and then getting that all together and I've got the ideas in my head, but I just got to see how that's all uh, parceled together and comes out. But I'm planning on hitting all the big locations. I've released the list to my patrons and YouTube channel members. Uh, those are the big things. I'm hoping to hit them all. So it's a big list. So if you... Uh, if you, uh, sorry, um, ugh, if you are a member of those, you can check that out. Uh, and if you're not, uh, you can get access to that and also help uh, me with my work and the trip by becoming one of those. Uh, it would be greatly appreciated if you could. Uh, so that'll be really interesting to cover. That's going to be a huge thing. Um, all kinds of videos. Uh, one of the things I'm still batting around, not sure how it's going to work with all the tech and everything, and it's going to depend on a SIM card, what can I can get, and, and and Wi-Fi, and I don't know how I'm going to do it yet. Uh, but live streams from locations. That's something I, I like to do. I haven't really done that in a while, just because I'm always at home in Ottawa, um, and there's just not much here. I've kind of run out. <laughs> um, I run out of stuff. Um, yeah, so kind of uh, run out of things to do live location here. So I'm hoping to do a bunch in Normandy. Sorry, I'm just reading here. Uh, one second. I'll probably come to questions at the end if that's okay with everybody. Uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about live streams. We'll see. Uh, it's going to be weather dependent and all this stuff. But that's something I'm really uh, really looking forward to adding to the list of doing and see how it all works out. I, I should be able to do it, no problem. Um, just how many will depend on you know data. <laughs> um, yeah, all that stuff. So, uh, oh, there we go. Questions are getting answered for me. Fantastic. Thank you, Norma. Uh, yeah, so that's going to be the big one. Uh, I'm hoping to get the first one in the series. It's going to be kind of like the backgrounders. There's going to be a few of them. I want to talk about the RCAF and the uh, Royal Canadian Air Force. Sorry, Royal Canadian Navy uh, beforehand. Um, you know, get that released because uh, it's a backgrounder. And, I mean, you can look up at the sky <laughs> here and look at uh, um, any ocean and then it'll look the same so I can get those ahead of time and I've got some really cool um, primary sources from people in both those services and some others so I'm going to be doing that for sure uh, so another one I don't think I've told anybody about this um, something I wasn't sure was going to happen but it's pretty much guaranteed now uh, a place I've wanted to go for a very long time uh, also in Europe never been uh, me and my wife will be going to Italy for a little bit uh, and I've talked her into going to, our Otona, to Ortona. Um, so it's going to be really, really... Um... <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Depending on the weather. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll be going to Ortona. So that's really exciting. Uh, so I'm going to go there, going to check out the sites. I mean, obviously, uh, it's not quite the same as it looked. Uh, during the battle because of the level of destruction and there's been changes since and the town has expanded but i will cover what i can I'm only there for a limited time um but yeah it, it should be great to to uh to get to ortona and some other places we're just gonna be kind of doing the touristy thing because neither of us have been 
um, saved up our points. <laughs> it's like, you know, I talk about all the time, love our, our points. That's what gets us places. Um, save those up so we can go, which is great. So that'll be really interesting. I'll try to cover some other stuff. I doubt it. Um, we'll see. Um, it would be great too. I mean, one thing we might, I get might to do is, is the Leary Valley just because that's the way we're going to be traveling anyway. So maybe I'll get some shots from like the train. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, but Ortona for sure. I'm going to be walking around the town and, and checking out some of the famous locations and, and the memorials and stuff like that. And at least put together a short something on Ortona uh, from the place. Uh, but uh, yeah, I mean, I've covered it before, but uh, I'm looking forward to going there myself and I'll have to talk to Jason, <laughs> who's our expert. And did it, if you didn't see it from around the anniversary there, the 80th, um, he did a video with the U.S. Army Press. Uh, I can uh, link that. But he did a fantastic job, and it was extremely well done. So check that out if you haven't watched that yet either. But he's my Ortona go-to. So that'll be kind of out of the you know the pace of the 80th. As we got that coming up for 1944. Um, but yeah. So that'll be cool. And another one, uh, again, still kind of batting around ideas, um, is the channel ports. That's a big one, one that's always interested me. Uh, that anniversary is obviously coming up in autumn with, um, you know, with, uh, sorry, um, Dieppe and the whole event there. And, you know, Kriar telling Monty, no, I'm not leaving because we're doing a ceremony, um, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, other places, we'll see Boulogne and Calais. i uh, cover what I can. I've got a few short ones already on the channel, uh, but uh, we'll see what else. I can do and uh, maybe talk to Project 44 about that map. They, I helped them with, with Project Well Hit. Oh, sorry, Operation Well Hit and, and all that good stuff. See what we can do, but that's an important anniversary as well. Obviously, with the long left flank and the First Canadian Army. Uh, that drives a huge part of what happens in 44, right, with the way the shell goes and, and all that. So that's that's a big one uh, for me. That I'm definitely going to be doing something, just not sure what. Um, but that's definitely on the list of going to happen so that was awesome so these are some of the the hopes but again um and again the uh uh sorry um sidebar or effort as well uh if there's anything you want to see please fire away uh we'll see um uh, so i got a question here already from from norma i don't think that's going to happen unfortunately um just the way the travel schedule is going to work for us um, based on hotel deals and things like that not really going to the moral river we're literally just going into ortona and we're going to be coming in from the north, from Pescara. So I don't think I'm even going to get to the, the cemetery. Um, it's not uh, the public transportation in, in Italy is bad. Um, it's just it's the opposite direction of what we're coming from and where we'll be leaving. Because so we're going to go back through Pescara again because we have no choice. Ortona is not connected um, from that. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, no. I don't think I'm going to get there. Not on this trip. Anyway. Hopefully in the future. But, uh, yeah, so some... Sorry, back on track here. Hopes for 2024. Things that I don't really have a plan, don't know if they'll happen, would love to do. We'll see. Um, some of them are all kinds of timing dependent, support for the channel. Hopefully I get tons more support for the channel because of the Normandy project. We'll see. Uh, it's still not at the level I want it to be at and, and all that. Um, that's what kind of makes some of these pie in the sky because I just don't have the funds. Uh, and the channel's not the numbers I want. So anyway, I don't want to make it... Uh, pessimistic even this optimistic but one i would love to do and i don't think it's too difficult to do it's not that far for me is not really connected to the year just something i've always wanted to do and haven't done yet is go to the plains of abraham i've been there multiple times in quebec uh, and make a video about that because a lot of it is preserves kind of i mean the, the plains has changed and they changed drastically during the american uh, war of independence and how they set up earthworks as defenses literally outside the old walls of Quebec. So it doesn't quite look like as it looked in 1759, but that's the anniversary of that is in September. So I'd love to get there, cover some of the spots. Some of the spots are very well known, right? Like the death of Wolf and where Montcalm was shot, where the lineups of all the regiments were. So that'll be really cool to check out. And I'd love to cover that because I can go there. It's not too, too far from Ottawa. It's a bit of a hike because it's a bit of a hike from everywhere <laughs> because it's pretty far out there. Uh, and it's a beautiful place to go. If you've never been, you should just anyway. So it's pretty cool. So that's a big one for me. Hopefully that'll be done by September. So that's a really, really cool one. 
Um, and uh, I don't think that's too, too crazy. So another one I've always wanted to do, and this is here in Ottawa, and I've been planning on doing it last year. I didn't get a chance to do it. I was going to, and then something happened. Uh, just timing didn't work out. Oh, sorry, the year before I was going to do it. I was going to do it this year, but then we got Muggins at the same time, so it didn't quite work out, uh, is do Grazenko. So what I want to do is, and I'm still not entirely sure of all the locations, so I want to know um, exactly where he went, right? So I'd have to get his book and check all that stuff. But because some of our buildings have changed, right? The Soviet embassy is still where the Russian embassy is today. So my plan is, you know, start there because that's where he leaves with all the, the dossier and all the paperwork about the spy ring. So and then work my way to the, you know, the, the newspaper office and to the uh, police and all that stuff. So that'll be really cool. Really looking forward to trying something like that, something different, and it's all here, and it's not going to cost anything. So that'll be good. I just got to get a handle on his book and get those locations down 100%. So one that I know Norma will like is the shell. Obviously, that's coming. Yeah, Pat, you're pretty much right, actually. Well, it'll just be me, uh, unless there's other people. I can always show people afterwards. But uh, yeah, the ghost walk in Ottawa, which I think is closing. It could be mistaken. Anyway, after um uh that was and sorry james i know this one that uh, is a large explosion is fort york in what is now toronto uh, the, the fort was rebuilt and i visited there a while back didn't make a video because it was terrible the weather was terrible and there was no thing there <laughs> it was all rainy with this around this time of year uh but anyway yes so fort york massive explosion magazine went up been there downtown toronto hard to miss um near all the downtown trial stuff <laughs> Anyway, so shelves. So moving some ideas. Obviously, I can't go there. Uh, I'd love to. Haven't done that part of the Netherlands and Belgium. Been to other parts of Belgium and the Netherlands, just not that one. So we're going to be doing that. I'll get as many historians on as I can. Uh, time that with anniversaries as best as possible. Did a shell week a while back. Like to do it again. Do it better. Not from the historians, for me. Better planning and you know all that good stuff. And Andreas, obviously, it's nearby you, so that's pretty cool. Um, and here it's a great place just to go. So that, it's a big one. It shouldn't be too hard to do. It'll be in the fall or autumn. Shouldn't be too, too bad. So that'll be interesting to do. Um, hopefully I can find some new people that I haven't had on before and talk about some different stuff. Uh, so another one I just thought of today is, uh, I was talking to Alex Bowers about Normandy and Canlo. Uh, so it just popped into my head is Market Garden and Canlo. Um, big part of that. That's an interesting one. Um, lots of Canadians involved there, right? No Canadian units are fighting in Market Garden. Uh, Canadian engineers become involved later, you know, as the forces 30 Corps pushes up to the river. Um, it helps them get out uh, the airborne, a good chunk of them. But there's no fighting units in the drops, right? The, the first can pair is not fighting in Market Garden. So I'd love to do some can loan, see if I can find some stories. I know there's books. Let's see if I can get some good stories, maybe tell some stories. Because uh, I've been to Arnhem uh, and that stuff. I mean, I want to have footage from Arnhem, but you know what I mean. So another one, this is a big pie in the sky, really outside in the normal wheelhouse. World War II still, but obviously, as you let you know, I'm trying to expand a little bit and look at some different stuff, is Pele Lu, right? That's a big one. Um, that's a big one. It's interested me forever, um, ever since I did my master's. So that was oh, geez, over 10 years ago. <laughs> 13 years ago, 12 years ago. Yeah, that makes me feel old. Um, been interested in that one. I looked at it initially. I was thinking about doing that one because of combat motivation and, and, and things like that. But I've always been interested in it. The 80th is upcoming. Um, so maybe I can look at stuff. Because I know there's a ton of footage from Pele Lu, um, from the beaches, from the inland fighting. Uh, I've posted some uncensored stuff for YouTube members and uh, um, patrons. I mean, it's it's intense. Um, yeah, it's 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 crazy. Um, the fighting there and how the absolutely brutal uh, conditions of Peleliu. I mean, the, the attack across the airfield is very well known because of the Pacific. But I'd like to do something, maybe not something huge, maybe something short. But it's one I've definitely wanted to cover. Yeah. So so that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get to pay with little Scott. I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> people go. I know people go, and it is possible. It's just it's it's expensive, and funds are tight, and uh, it's far. <laughs> you have to transfer a plane like four times or something. Uh, I've looked at it a long time ago, um, long, long time ago. But, 
nasty business. Yes, uh, nasty fighting, as Robin says. So, um, yeah, that's the those are the pie in sky hopes. Some are more realistic than others, uh, particularly with timing. That's always the big one, and um, you know, um, money. Money's always the big one. So, hopefully, the channel does better after all the Normandy stuff. That's the thinking. Um, so that's the big one. So those are the big ones I'm hoping of. Some of the local stuff should be pretty easy to do. The Krasinka one's always fascinated me since I moved here, just because I know the places. Like literally, his apartment building is 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 still there, um, which is wild. I mean, it hasn't really changed. Apparently, uh, my wife, who at the time my girlfriend at the time, worked two doors down from his apartment that the NKVD ransacked. So it's it's a fascinating story right here in Ottawa. So that'd be one for sure. But uh, for the more uh, near future, the NZO one should hopefully be out by the time of your uh, anniversary, which is coming up. Um, I mean, first special for his service force doesn't get there until February, so maybe I'll aim for that. But it should be an interesting one. I've shown some stuff to patrons and channel members, uh, kind of what I've been looking at. So it's, it's really cool. I need to get on that. But I got some other projects that are behind uh, writing on Korea right now for uh, Defining Moments Canada.